holy shit holy shit i mean look you can get lost in it. holy shit this is a mystery isn't it i mean today we are returning to fort louisville where we left off in some very strange tunnels with some very strange steel and cement construction underground so now it's time to go outside on top of the fort and take a look at the fighting positions you have to imagine this fort was a huge artillery fort dating back to its origin and by world war one the top was covered in guns and dispersed by powder magazines in 1876 the fort cost two million francs to build but it was significantly upgraded 1892 to 1910 with a lot of special cement and the Mujan turret with two 155mm guns. That was hit during the battle and repurposed in the most interesting way that I've never seen before and today it has turned into something completely irrecognizable. Also there's a 75mm turret and several observation cautious and machine gun turrets. Let's take a look. Ah. With 2,000 workers here, uh, there were a lot of uh, Germans across the frontier all the time to work, and they knew very well where the governor's quarters were. That's why the, the, the first bit they shelled. So the Germans actually, were German workers were part of building this? Yes. Did the same thing with the Maginot Line. Are you saying German workers worked on the Maginot Line? Yep. Oh. <laughs> what? Fred, <laughs> Fred. <laughs> this is this. This is the the ditch yeah. and the outer wall. This is gigantic. Yeah, it is. My God. Where are we going? Là, là où tu es, et là-bas, normalement, il n'y a pas de trou, là. C'est uniforme. OK. Fred, I'm All right. Well, I'll be honest. Here you can see the lightning rod. This is the observation dome. And right here you have the mason turret. The guns, unfortunately, were scrapped earlier on. Now, what's interesting about this is, under here runs the hallway over to there. This was flat once before somebody, who shall remain unknown, started shooting at it. There's still an hallway access here underneath. However, because, and you know where this is going, the baby bats are being born in there, we're not allowed to go in. Much as I will preserve my, my true feelings about that, since me and baby bats are totally friend, um, you all know what's inside this. You've seen these before. We've been inside them plenty of times. So this is not the greatest mystery in the world of what was here. These are exceptionally cool and they're fun to go in and visit the spiders and the bats into. But the real mystery is what was half of this stuff inside this fort for? Ah, but I see it kind of, kind of shot in the... Oh, this that is weg, aber hier gibt es keinen Schade. Und aus dem Zimmer auch vielleicht hier, aber. Ja, so hier, ja, da Nee, nee. Ehrlich. Das ist dasselbe, Ja, das. Auch, das ist der Beton, so ist. Ja. Roger, what? Why is there no damage on this dome? Why there's no damage on that dome? Well, because it was uh, no, it never took the right hit. I mean, everything here is, is the whole ground is shredded, but there's no damage to either one of the domes. They missed, they missed them. <laughs> and you get the lightning rod right there. Well, remember, this was all flat all the way up to there. So wait a minute, we can go in there in the winter? <laughs> All right, so it actually did take one singular hit straight on there, and that shifted the dome just enough for it to, well, this is where it is, and you know what? I can see the well is 
Yeah. Now that I'm actually looking at it. Yeah, you can sort of see the crack. The gap is wider on one side than on the other. Which is kind of cool. Despite all the legends about this turret being thrown up in the air by a hit. The real story, let's see, <laughs> is that uh, it, it was in the process of being lifted to sh fire at the Germans on the plains of the Wavre, which is the reason for this fort's existence, to guard the, the plain of the Wavre, and also on the Bois Brûlé, with the German trenches where we, 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 that we visited last year. Right, they're lifting it up to continue firing, the shell hits it, and the impact, um, the poor guy who was turning the handle, he got the handle in the, in the stomach. I was badly wounded by it. He was evacuated and he died soon after. He wasn't killed by the, by the explosion of the shell. He died from receiving, uh, you know, the, the handle in, in, his, in, his, in his stomach, which is very sad. So the story that it was blown in the air and then jammed <laughs> is... But it was jammed. It was knock, knocked off its axis. Right? It's a little crooked. Right, yeah. After the explosion, yes, it couldn't turn anymore. Yeah. It was knocked a little bit off its axis, yeah. All right, so... At least the observation casemate took a hit. Right there. A good one, too. But I don't see any shrapnel damage on the actual dome. Still be a crappy place to be in. If that thing goes, or when that thing went. So except for Fort Vaux, this was the only fort through World War I who actually had a 75 turret put out of commission by a German hit. And that, you know, was a feat in itself, I would say. Because they are very fragile. I have my whole life with a veteran gerät. Well. Und äh, habe ich nicht den Namen Gefühl, wieder so, aber jetzt mal ist eine andere Geschichte. Ja, das ist. Aha. So. Alors ça c'est l'accès à la tourelle de 75. Mais on peut pas y aller. <coughs> es ist äh, für die Tourelle 75 äh, Geschütze, 75 der Achse, der, der Eingang. Der Eingang. Für die Tourelle. Äh, die hat ja installiert in 1910. 1910. Das ist die letzte Modernisation. Das ist. Ah! Okay. Du kannst kommen. Magazin? Ja, das war für. Ça, ça servait à monter les munitions. Ok. Roger, we got plenty of light. Oh. Is this the magazine? An this is the... An a size of an ammunition lift. Really? Is there a hole under here where we are? Where I am standing? No. Well, what did you, no, no, you're fine. Uh, so, all right, so this is where you go down to the magazines that goes in under the uh, uh, ditch and outside yes, the fort. Yes. Where's the ladder? Is the 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 okay, yeah. On the ladder. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. What's down here? What's this ladder? This is the second entrance. The second entrance, ah, okay. Oh. <laughs> Toilet. Okay. Yo, toilet. Toilet. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Je sais pas si ça fonctionne encore. Nine, nine. Nine, nine, what? Non, non. J'ai jamais essayé. They put light. T'as un licht, là. Ah. But no firing positions in the top. Ça, c'est la route. Alors, ici, il y a eu un... Voilà, c'est du béton, hein, on le voit, mais c'est pas du béton spécial, c'est du béton, les Français savaient pas trop bétonner, mm. 1910. Ici, il y avait des banquettes. Yeah. So this is like the, in the, in the photo of Rome, I don't know if you it. Yeah, the... There are two guys sitting here. Uh, a third guy, their friend went out. And immediately he left. Um, a shell hit and tra the shock wave smashed out all the concrete and killed the two guys. Really? There were their seats, were here, the folding, the tables and seats. Um, wow. Yeah, this is all cracked from above. Yeah. Wow. Ah. This is probably one of the coolest turrets I've been in, just because of what this is. Hey, buddy. Oh, another big hole, my god. That is a big hole. Again. This is, this is a, this must be, it was a dig, right? It wasn't down to the magazine, was it? Uh, oh, wait a minute, there's a hoist. Yeah, I'm a hoist. Okay. But what's, uh, what's that? Was that for a uh, munition lager or for a um, out? Wow. You're not talking to me. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Ah, that's the turret, what's left of it. Okay. So, what was in the hole behind me? It's an ammunition lift. There. That's the another ammunition lift. Oh, beautiful. Nice this is absolutely gorgeous. I don't know why th this is just for me. It's better when it's not restored. Oh, I had the counterweight and everything. Par contre, tu peux, euh, tu peux dire à Tony qu'il peut aller dans l'observatoire, il n'y en a pas, par contre, dans l'observatoire. Il peut aller à côté, si. Oh, uh, do you want to go to the observatoire? Oui, oui. Ok. Non, ça c'est... Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, yo, 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 I'm not going to crawl up there, Jesus. <laughs> That's a nice big dig up there, I love it. You all noticed that we're actually in here, right? Good. Here's your buddy. Ah, oh, it's fantastic. Did you get what you wanted in Oh, God, yes. And the best part was the bat. When I'm filming, I was filming straight up in the turret, and the bat comes straight down to the camera. It's beautiful. Uh, you, okay. I follow. This is the part you don't get to see on the official tour because of, you know, my new bat friends that... Look at this. Look at this. Wow, that just a compression from the hit right above us. But the roof itself held. But, damn. Damn, damn, damn. This is gorgeous. I don't know why destruction is gorgeous, but this is absolutely amazing. This is one of the most fun places. Bat coming at me. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy, we'll leave you alone now. Just the regret was big. <laughs> That's quite small in comparison. I hope they have a lawnmower. I really hope they have a lawnmower. No. Is, what is this? This is the shoot. What are they talking about? The oh, the shoot here. Oh, that's a for the shoot. Oh. Platform de tir. Ah, okay. 
Well, yeah, naturally. Probably used to be a ramp that. Ah, it's a real good. Yeah, I'm a shooter. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a hole. Okay. It is a hole. <laughs> oh. oh, this is where we were. Ah, we were here. That's what the out on the end. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Right, well, you know, I know you have Danish ancestry, um, but how many mountain goats were there in your family? Mountain goats? Yeah. I think we have one. I think we have one on our crest, don't we? Uh, ah. oh, fuck me. <laughs> I think we had a cattle wrestler in our family. Still, I think we had one of those. Um, no, a cattle thief, actually. Sorry. In the in the 15, the 1600s, was I think there was somebody who got done for stealing cows. Is it? How the hell did that survive? The optical signal station. How did that original flagpole survive? How is it still there? How is it not wrapped in cotton in a museum somewhere? The, uh, there were originally three tunnels here for uh, pointing the lamps in the direction of neighboring forts. That's what that is. Yeah, but when it was blown up, they replaced it with a couple of tunnels here. So they could use it as a lookout position. So, but this is still a sig this was where the signaling, directive signaling. Yeah, it was in there with three tunnels. <laughs> oh, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. I mean, all right, so you have the shell, the impact of the probably extremely heavy shell. And then, of course, the collapsed tunnel underneath, which accounts for this dip. I don't think this was a 400 plus, but hey. Have we here? Ow. Holy shit. Look at these hits. Of course, when they explode, they take down the roof of the rooms of the casans, of the powder magazines, whatever. It's beneath them, and you get a huge hole here. But this is such an amazing place. This is just an amazing place, truly, truly. It's the ventilation shaft or the upper ventilation shaft. I believe this is, okay, this is what is above the thing. That doesn't tell me anything whatsoever about what it is. That freaks me out a bit. There's nothing here. I'm standing on top of a tower, on top of a tower, on top of a tower. All right, so you figured it out. Our guides have worked out uh, the problem of the crisscross uh, metal beams with a giant tunnel underneath them, which was, I think, a coincidence <laughs> not intended. Um, on to, above was the it was the optical signaling post uh, with three tunnels pointing to uh, Toul, the Fort de Saint Michel, and another fort. Now that was completely blown up, and they decided to reconstruct it as a kind of a lookout post, and so that sort of concrete well was built. So they built up a lookup post and that's underneath this hill. Underneath this hill behind me is that that shaft with the crisscross beams. Don't ask me why the beams are there. So you're saying if I crawl through that cement tube there. <laughs> you'd fall down the shaft. I'll see you down the shaft. You know you'd fall down the shaft. You can't get in there. So they put these two tubes there, just as lookouts. They're like a pair of binoculars, aren't they? To look out. So there's a room on the other side of that tube there. There was. 
Oh, no, don't go in there. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't got the rope tied to your ankles. It's in the car, it's in the car. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I've explained to you what this is. Or what this is. Ooh, I see a hallway in there. I don't know. I sense I should be going this way because no one's telling me otherwise. Which is once again. Now, if we're going to start doing tours to forts, I was wrong. I don't want to bring you to the places that everybody's been to. I want to bring you to the places that most of you have never heard of. Places like this. Because it'll blow your mind and you'll come home with photos. You had never dreamt of. And your wives will shake their heads and go like, you're nuts. Guessing powder magazine. What else it will be? Look. Ooh, wait a minute. Looks more like a tunnel, doesn't it? No, powder magazine. Original doors here. Step up to the. Well, there's a door there too. Everything here is amazing. Well, okay, they used to be. We'll go with that. Uh, wood sitting down here somewhere. Ah, oh, door looks. that door and see the rounds on top that is the original door that would fit this exit to the position up there absolutely amazing everything here's amazing just just go with it everything here nothing here that's not amazing including the bats which are the biggest bats I've seen anywhere Ooh, what's have we here? We have a... I don't know what we have here, but I like the way it looks. It looks like something... that caved completely. Build a gangplank there. A powder magazine. What did they do here? I'm curious. I mean... Oh dear God, look at this. Well, we all know I'm going over here. So I don't know why we're fooling ourselves. Ventilation or shell impact? You know what? You'll take a vote on it. Let me know what you think. I'm here, so I know what I think. Well, there's nothing I can think of that would propel me not to go over there. Just because there's no floor, because it's totally slippery, because, you know, there's a chance of plummeting to death. I still see no reason to not go over here. Except... <laughs> so there's a tunnel underneath me. That's interesting. Lots of bats in here. Now... So there's another little room in there. Tunnel down. Is this metal or is this wood? Ah, damn it, that's wood. All right. This is a hundred plus years old wet wood. So 
I will find a different way in because I'm crazy. I'm not stupid. Or am I stupid but crazy? Wait a minute, how is that goes? We'll get back to you. All right, so we'll fall back up here and over this thing, just because it seems incredibly cool to balance on things and slippery shoes. This is not going anywhere. Oh, there's a billion. They absolutely made everything here billion, including the underground. You couldn't build the film set this cool. Well, not for money anyway. <laughs> okay. Well, all right. Ow, spiky thing. Get the generator so I know where I am. Perfectly semi intact fort underneath me, and I'm still crawling through the brush in the nature. Brilliant. Everything is brilliant here. Oops. Except the hole in the ground. It's an air ventilation shaft with a metal pole in it. And I keep wondering if all these railings are original from the time because they, they look like they are. All right, I'm looking for a Gallopar turret, which I showed you before. And you're just going to have to see all the episodes if you don't remember. And holy crap, there's a big hole in the ground. Uh, right? Anyway, I'm looking for a gigantic turret. And I don't know where it is. I hear the generator that they're working on, which is awesome. don't exactly know where I am. Oh, look at that. Well, now I know where I am. Right. So we're just going to continue along. This is a ridge. And you have to remember, there was a time when this was just a flat top of the fort. It's no longer a flat top of the fort. These are the rooms, these are the rooms in the Kassan we were just in. I mean, you get the idea of what happened here. What was it, 6,000 shells? I guess for World War I, that's not really a whole lot, but oh, I see something up there. But you see these ridges that are created by shell fire? I don't think I can ever see everything in this place. I don't think I could. All right, this goes on the list, obviously. There's another bat sanctuary bunker over there. That's all right. I met a lot of nice bats on this one. We had lots of conversations. Talked about what mosquitoes are the tastiest. You know, stuff like that. Bat conversations. And... So maybe you see how thick the roof is. So when they built this fort, all the stuff they dug out of the rock 
in order to build the fort. Well, they pretty much just dumped it back on top to keep protected, which is basically simply smart. Stupidly smart. Alright, now, what do we have here? I have, well, we all know what that is. Huh. From here, I shall drone this fort, I believe. This is amazing. Everything here is amazing. It's just, and the cement here is not damaged at all. Well, I actually lied on that. There's a little tink. So over there is the the fixed turret that has been covered up for what I believe was an observation post that was done after it had been destroyed. Well, it hadn't been destroyed, but... Uh, well, no, it had been destroyed. After the turret and the guns had been blown up, saw some of the pieces in the entry, it was covered up and turned into an observation post, which is a little futile since I'm standing on the observation post for this area, and I can see a lot from here. Down here is the entrance to the fort, and then you start the ditch. I'll go over there and have a look, see what happened to it, if I can actually find the paths to it. It's just amazing with these holes. I wonder what they hit them with. They must have hit these places repeatedly. And I keep thinking again that these fences are actually original to the time. Hard to say. And this is one of the tunnels into the fort. Could be one of the ones I walked through. I honestly can't tell at this point. Let's go see what's left of this puppy. Louisville was bombarded by German artillery for the large part of the war, with the heaviest fire between the 22 September and 16 October 1914. The Mujah turret was hit by a 305 mm German shell, but it still continued to fire with one gun until 28 September. The North Ammunition Magazine was penetrated by shell fire as well. The 75 mm turret fired despite considerable trouble with the mechanism and numerous casualties until the fort was evacuated, and the turret was jammed by a direct hit of a 305 as well. Infantry continued to hold the area and the fort was never taken, but it was quickly turned into an observation post. One was built on top of the Musha turret. See some of the hits here on the casemate of the block. I mean, it was shredded. Of course, I can't help but to think, was some of this tore off by the internal explosion? or from the shelling of it. Oh. Wow. They plastered this hideous observation dome of cement on top of it. Look, there's the foundation. This is something you won't see anywhere. This is something you won't see everywhere. Or, well, anywhere, actually. Oh, there's the gun sticking out. Oh, bloody hell. What the hell? I mean, all right, the turret was blown up. The turret was demolished, it was blown up. I get it. If they were long barreled and the scrappers cut them, I, I want to cut them. <laughs> wow, that's an amazing 
it's an amazing evolution that happened to this fort or to this actual dome and we saw the dome in the other fort down here oh you can actually get through the tunnel into it oh well, that's what they did so there's the underneath shelter that they built a staircase up to this observation dome here just plastered over to the remains of the guns and everything just emergency measure in the middle of the war we need to be able to do something with this maybe a, an mg or something it looks like even that position have been shelled or shredded somehow they just filled in cement rock or something on top of here so they could get up there they could use it for something i mean this is an emergency wartime fix that you will not see anywhere and i say anywhere i mean anywhere seriously that is truly unique and of course i mean what what is what is so unique about it is that it is still here because emergency fixes during battle like that they never last after the war i mean the war is over you you dismantle or you repair or you get rid of because you no longer use it stuff like this that's just damn oh, damn 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 standing on the gun Teeth was rotate on. There's actual barrel. God oh, damn. I kinda wanna dig it out. See the breach where you had the grooves to catch the lock in. I'll catch the breach in. I'll be caught here. See the little little grooves there the end of the barrel. And this is part of the effortage that would hold it the guns and then you'd have the dome would have been while well, you remember or can imagine how large this was it's just amazing I still want to dig it out though I want to dig these guns out although this is history in itself so digging them out would also be wrong I'm conflicted seriously yeah. did you say they turned this into an observation post no M no machine guns or anything were these long barreled guns I know, I already swore about that part. That was correct. Observation post. All right. I'm just gonna keep filming until I plummet to my death because I don't know what's in here. Why do I keep carrying this backpack? Oh yeah, my drone's in here. Ooh, that's why I keep doing this. So now we're gonna go inside. Let's see what's in there, eh? Ah. Ah. I have no idea what I'm expecting to see. I've been inside, well, I've been inside a yellow pot shirt like this that is intact. Oh, wait a minute, this is the outer well of the turret. But there must have built the way into the actual bunker underneath because why else there would be a staircase into this place here. Oh, there it is. This is the outer well. So this leads me down into the bunker or the formerly turret. I can do this. Yeah, see? This is the outer cannon well 
And it was probably, there was something written here, tablet something. And this is part of the fix. This is where the cannon would have been. You'd see some of the rotating mechanism, or this would just be the steel shroud. I have to check what the other one looked like. So I'm gonna go down here. Let's see what's down here. Uh, back to the original construction. But I wonder if this, when this stairwell, when this was made, is a little lower where the ground had moved up there's more down there outstanding all right now let's take this floor first take it four by four as i'm creeping crab walking through this rubble wow all right this is just i mentioned i know i keep saying amazing so i'll stop saying amazing You can have to survive the bounce for a minute because, well, uh, hard to walk in here. All right, so this is what in some way was an entrance. Now I'm at ground level, but we're not going that way. I'll go back in. Don't know if I'm going this way. I don't know. Oh, what's this? That's a broken staircase, I think. No, no. That. There's a room down there. There used to be a staircase there. Here's an enormous shell hole or hole. What made this? So there's no direct fire in here, and there's no actually axes of fire, so I don't know what made that hole. I don't actually understand why this room came down. It must have been part of the initial explosion, but they still used it. Alright, we'll go down in the dark unknown. See how these stairs look different? Alright, these stairs look different. And uh, he walks up to the turret. And seriously? Okay. Alright, there's no ladder there. That's really unproductive. This is highly irregular. What's down there? So I see a wall. That's what I expect to see. And there's... This is a room, an ammunition room. The only Galapagos turret, the only Galapai turret I ever seen was embedded in a fort. So I honestly don't know. This being somewhat of a detached position, it's hard for me to tell if If this would be connected somehow, I'm thinking I have to jump down here. This seems like something I'd have to do, don't I? I don't know. It seems like I should. Can't actually see. Oh, there's a staircase down there. All right, so the jump down here. Oh. All right. We do with getting out later. So this is the level to the to where I was just in there, looking down there. So okay. Well, hmm. There's not a broken staircase here, but I see something that I want to see. So, 
this doesn't seem like it's gonna move if I sit on it. Run the kids. Don't uh, don't try this at home. Okay, seriously, if you could try this at home, uh, I guess you your thoughts of exploration may have uh, been somewhat fulfilled. Ooh, holy! This is cool. This looks like a shaft. I mean, this would be a good place to start trying to dig out, tunnel out. And the French forts were told at one point that they should prepare to tunnel out. This is where I was looking down. All right. Cement, steel. So, wow. All right, back up what's left of the staircase. here. I'm glad I did it. I'll do it again. Well, how the hell do I get out of here? If I move this loose rock, hmm, if I move this loose rock, I can stand on that. 100% chance of death. All right. Now I have to vertically elevate myself up over this. Ah. How did all this happen though? Where did all this stuff come from? Yeah, I know they blew the tunnel. But... Alright, I'm gonna have to put the camera down for a minute. Alright, made it out of the hole. Now I'll take the front door out and see what happens. Bonjour. Is mm -hmm. <laughs> you come here often? No. <laughs> Ça va, ça va, c'est bon. Ah, ça va, c'est bon. Kommst du nicht raus in 30 Minuten, hol dich dir ab. Ja, okay. <lacht> ah, pack mir das aus. So. Was soll das sein? 9,910. <laughs> I'm sure there's some more meaning to this, but... Hmm. Priceless, priceless, priceless. And if you work... All right, from the tower, straight back to the tunnel there. Priceless. Where's the damn walkway up here? Hi. Hello. All right, from the turret that is no more, I remember seeing this hallway here from below. That's intriguing. Which means I seem to remember collapsed tunnels underneath me. Yes, yes, yes. This is what I remember seeing. I was standing down there, looking at this tunnel. That looks like a ring for a large oil barrel. Do you remember that? All right. That's the back sanctuary number 7,554 that is becoming the bane of my life. All right. Now I know where I am. Just don't know exactly what to do with it. I want to get inside the thing I'm currently on top of. Oh, I smell diesel and fire. Good. Diesel and fire. Oh well, it works.
back to the sanctuary in here. Hmm. What was in front of this? So there was a fighting position from the prison. Hey buddy. Here's another bat friend. Lots of bat friends. Okay. And nothing we love more on lost battlefields is opening of doors. Something the Germans need to learn. Oh no, they had a way of doing that. Ici c'est uh, restaurant winter. Oh. Restaurant of winter. Woo! <laughs> oh. This is oh this is actually nice. <laughs> So that's what we see. Okay. Fabrication, fabrication personnel. Oui, oui. But here I can see. Ici, yeah. ici, il y avait euh, un canon revolver. So inside the caponier here for the ditch defense. This is what you're looking at. Not particularly reinforced. No, no. So, unlike all the other forts that were modified, this one kept its caponier. Mind you, we saw regret. So, so when regret was the, has got a caponier. So, when know. was this caponier built? At the same time as the fort. So, this is the original caponier? Yeah. And After. it was modified, it was concreted. Yeah, I see. When they did the concrete work. Okay. Caponier which should be built at the opposite side to match this one. And it's on the plan, and they never built it. Because <laughs> <laughs> if the Germans capture the plant, they go, oh, we attacked the Caponier, oh, man. Let's look at the size of the rock around here. There's, yeah, there's some, some pretty damn rocks and pieces and yeah. some, is that part of the Indian case? No. Collapse, uh, on, uh, un, under Krieg, uh, zerstört, or? Uh. You know how we look at destroyed walls? This is the outer wall of the ditch just tore up and here have the entrance to the fort have the caponier there was supposed to have been another one this was reinforced on top and there was supposed to have been another one but that was never built and you see on the back <laughs> I was gonna say you can see on the back of the ditch you can see the, um, the, the how intact the walls are. I almost said, this is the wall of the Caponier. And then way down there at the end, you have the ditch defenses right way in there. This is not the basis of the, the base of the ditch. With all the stones that were smashed and thrown down. It elevated the ground. It elevated the ground, and then some years ago, the farmers came by, we don't know why, and they leveled it all. They didn't take away the debris, they leveled it. So technically, there could be wartime stuff under the debris. Roger, I like these people. Oh, this original. Oh. So that's how much of all the debris that filled up the ditch all the way through. This is the original level of what the ditch was. The trains would run down to here, and the trains would run in through here, and then the trains would run up the stairs. <laughs> no, there's a train. No, no, it's Ah, okay. Okay. The escalier for the soldiers. But it's all and behind it's all collapsed behind the, that wall. So the, it, they would lift up the, the cargo, or where would the trains actually stop?
Some mitrailleuse here, or what's that here? Machine gear, gear, machine gear. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this yeah, is another 1917 yeah. works, is it? Yeah. That's yeah. yeah. The wartime entry is is completely open. You have to defend it. So it was possible there was another bridge here, right, which pulled back. This might have been the, you know, an arm or something to mm -hmm. run it back on, or even a, you know, I don't know. Because there's no, there's no attachment. So I mean, yes, there are. There are attachments for rails, aren't there? So this would be, yeah, this, this, yeah, this could be a rails. Absolutely. Rails, right? yeah. 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 Uh, and the, the bridge, the bridge would come back this far. That's the same distance, okay. And yeah. there's a pit under there that's full of gravel. Okay, that's full of uh, Yeah. And the cannons, cannons could be pulled up there with a winch on the right. Okay. The entry. Right. <laughs> But the troops had to just walk up carrying munitions. That's fine. Have you any room there? Ah, very clever. Came here first. What? This was full of uh, earth and stones. And they had to dig it all up. They never knew there was a little staircase giving access down to the, the well. <laughs> Hell of a job they've done here. <laughs> Watch your head. Come down. Alors progressivement, on est descendu, 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 on a sorti la terre, les cailloux, sorti tout, sorti, oh. escaliers, Wow, they found the staircase. Piece by piece, piece by piece, by piece, they dug this out. This is full of rocks and stones, it's, it's amazing. And then we come in under the bridge, a place I've never been under one of these. So, what was? Descend d'eau. À droite, c'est de l'eau, l'évacuation d'eau. Une des évacuations d'eau mm -hmm. qui part à l'extérieur. Et à gauche, électricité pour euh, l'électricité qui vient donc euh, des groupes électrogènes qui sont euh, dans les contrées de l'autre côté. Right. Okay. So water comes in by the right hand conduit. And this left hand conduit brings in the electricity into the fort, which was produced in the uh, underground. Underground, uh, underground, yeah. Sorry, underground. Sorry. So there was electrical cable that came there, and water they went there. Water pipe. Yeah, I see the water pipe. Mm -hmm. That's what's left of the water pipe. Yeah. And then there's the bridge. Did they replace the wood, or is that their actual the original? Oh no, they had to uh, renew everything, including the rails. Okay. What well, what is that? I don't know yet. Okay. <laughs> No, oh, that right. explains so it. This is the uh, an escape uh, route under the drawbridge. Okay, under the main drawbridge with the the portcullis. All right. Maybe. 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 So I'm not sure. Um, there, because there's clearly something in there. That is the ditch. And that yeah. Behind that is is the earth that was piled in it. Oh, so there's no tunnel. There's just out. There's, there's oh. Yeah. If you, if, you, if you pull down that, that wall, you'd face a, um, a, a pile of uh, earth. Now that there might be an exit under the bridge is something we saw at Fort Manoville. So it would stand to reason that one might be found here as well. However, from this photo from 1914, after heavy shelling of the entrance, there's none to be seen. So it's just one more mystery about this fort. Uh -huh. That's where the electrical came up. Mm -hmm. Vous pouvez voir vous pouvez. Oh, oh. l'électricité. Oui. Il reste encore les, 
That's where they left all came in, to the fort from the underground, from the underground uh, power station that is somewhere behind me, outside, but deep underground in the collapsed tunnel we saw next door. That's so cool. Oh. You see? Yeah. yeah. Is there something in the water pipe? Uh. Is that a cable sticking out of the pipe? Or a pipe sticking out of the pipe? Yeah, cable key emerges into you now. Hmm. Ah. Just the cover over all that as well. I know. I I do believe I like everything about this port. How did this all begin for for him and him and the organization and how did they how did they end up here? Hey, 1984. Uh, it was the, the old Poilu who wanted to come and live here, in the fort, and he asked the permission of the mayor, you know, to, to move in. Um, and the mayor said, well, yes, but really, we need to create an association at the same time. Okay. So how did, he, how did he get involved then? My friend, uh, he was asked to uh, dedicate a book by, um, by the historian, the memorial, uh, who, who wrote a book. Um, and that's how he became involved here. I truly do love exploring these forts. The evolution of fortress construction can actually be seen in each one of them. See how the brick and stone was covered in concrete and steel. But nothing gets better than when there's an unknown construction point or hidden entrances underground leading somewhere into the dark. So, to fully understand the history of fortresses and warfare, I must visit and document all of these so together we can evaluate what worked and understand where it came from. You know, for the next one. Behind me is Vanna von Braun's first test stand. Down the road is Diebner's nuclear reactor. Over there is the Maginot Line and all its amazing forts. I'm visiting them all and I'm bringing them to you. So I really appreciate you like, follow, and share what I'm doing trying to document all these important historical locations. And if you feel like you want to watch more pictures or documents that are used for these, go to lostbattlefields.com. And if you feel like helping me out with my travels, because gasoline and travel and air for you is expensive, my PayPal is there, protectionservicein.com. You are more than welcome, but you don't have to. I appreciate all your support and all your help, and I love seeing these locations, and I love bringing them to you.